Don't be so quick to react when someone does you wrong. Don't be so quick to react when someone does you wrong. Why do I say this? Let me tell you a story. I was taking my niece somewhere, so I saw a car like far back. So I had enough time to take my turn, my left turn, and everything is fine. So when I took my turn, the car behind sped up. And this car was beeping or honking its horn like, eh, eh, eh like a crazy person or something like that. And I'm wondering, like, is that really necessary? So this person was trying to pass me on the left or right side, but it was only one lane. And what else? So when it got to the point where it was two lanes, really quickly like like really fast this person passed on the right side i believe so it was a woman and a man in this car so the guy on the right side on the passenger side this guy took his hand out i believe his right hand and flipped me off so <laughs> like I don't really drive too often, so I don't really, you know, go through, like, people with road rage and stuff like that. So, when it happened, like, it really disturbed me, like, to the point where I wanted to catch up with that person and do something where they would have to get out of their car or something like that. And I am not a fighting type of person. I am not a violent type of person either. But what that guy did was, like, there was no reason for it. None. Why would you do that? So, like I wanted to do something because I know that if I was outside my car and he was outside of his car, he would not have flipped me off. But to drive off really quickly and flip a person off, that is just really nasty, man. Like really, really poor in taste. Very nasty. So... I was really mad and like I said, I either wanted to say something or do something like, hey, like, what is going on? Don't be so quick to react when someone does you wrong, when someone offends you. Because the person who purposely offends you, like, do something that wrong, as I have explained, Hey, that person is going to reap what they sow. So I took comfort within that. Because I know if that person is doing that to me, that person is doing that to other people as well. That would have to make sense. There was this other time when I was having a conversation with a person and this person was just saying some rude things to me. I can take jokes, you know, I like to joke and stuff like that. And sometimes I offend people when I joke with them. So when they show me that they got hurt by what I said, I will apologize. I'm serious. I will apologize. That is just my nature to joke with people. But this person that was saying mean things to me was not joking. Like, this person was really serious. And 
I was wondering how in the world <clears throat> can a person talk that way to a person that is helping them? Like, if you are helping me do things, why would I speak to you in a mean way? It really makes no sense. Like, I am like the only one that helps you, but you are going to speak to me in a mean way. But anyways, like, this person was really agitating me, man, like really bad. And I wanted to say something so badly, but I knew that if I was to say something back or mean or anything like that, because it is really funny how a person with many flaws can point out the flaws in other people, but can't point the flaws out in them. That is really funny. But anyways, I wanted to say something so badly, but I did not. Because I knew that I would reap what I sow. So I believe I started to pray or like what I do sometimes when a person do that, when they talk really crazy to me and I have to hear it, I just empty out my brain or my mind and not try to think of anything. You know, just have them talk, say what they want to and like not think. Because if I start to think, I may get upset. So I just empty out my mind. And this is what you may have to do as well. Empty out your mind. But anyways, or what you can do, sometimes what I do, I will pray. I'm serious. I will pray while that person is speaking. Not out loud, like, in the name of Jesus, you know. Well, perhaps, I guess you can do that too, you know. But I try to empty out my mind. Don't be so quick to react when a person offends you. Even on my YouTube channel, I get people <laughs> that say a lot of crazy stuff to me. Like, you would really be surprised by the comments I get. Like, you're really surprised. And I can sense, too, that they are trying to make me mad or type some stuff back to them and you know, say some mean things back, but hey, I am not going to do that. I am just going to erase your comment. That's it. Crazy comments, man. <laughs> you know, I say that out of everyone that comments, perhaps two or three percent that make crazy comments, man. Crazy which makes no sense but usually when a comment is going to be wrong or rude it usually begins in a certain way and if I see that trend that a person is going to say something crazy I will just say or I will just erase it right there because they usually begin in a very bad way so, don't be so quick to react. Don't. What do you profit when you quickly react to a person's negativity? You don't profit anything. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.